Well, developing news now. Threats called in to a number of universities nationwide, including two here in Ohio. Uh, deputies locked down the campus of Denison University in Granville. And Fox 28's Rob Wells is there as life gets back to normal for the most part. Rob? Well, Bob, Denison University officials say that there's a heightened police presence right behind us here on campus tonight after that afternoon threat. In the meantime, I spoke with several students who say that they knew that something was wrong when they each received a reverse 911 call on their cell phone telling them to stay right where they were for more than an hour. Everyone, everyone heard it at the same time, listened to the voice call, if, and if you didn't pick it up, they left you a voicemail. Alert system is definitely great. We've had um, a couple of alerts before last year. That message they're talking about went out to more than 2,000 students and staff at Denison University that a lockdown was underway after a threat of gun violence on campus. They were all just staying in their dorms. They were, like, scared to leave and locking their doors. Anytime there's a threat to our students and the safety of our students, our, sa our staff, our faculty, we act and react as we should very conservatively. Police, along with the State Highway Patrol and the FBI, searched campus all afternoon for any signs of a problem. Went inside and there was a whole group of people. Security came and checked up on us, made sure everything was locked, so we felt safe. Emergency officials say the Granville superintendent also put students in city school buildings on lockdown as a precaution. So based on uh, the proximity of the buildings and, and uh, some of the buildings had already released, we did decide to go ahead and let the, the students uh, be released at the regular time. Um, and we did not feel that there was a significant threat at all to the, to the community. The chief says similar threats were reported Wednesday at several universities nationwide, including the University of Cincinnati. Now the FBI is tracing the threat made to Denison to see if the calls could be related. And after a thorough search, FBI investigators tell me that they cleared the scene, and that's when they allowed students back in and out of their dorm rooms and classrooms and offices. Best of all in all this, no injuries were ever reported. Live in Granville, Rob Wells, Fox 28 News.